is included. Then it's 21 pieces. And, uh, code if you want to look for it or order it to your store. Okay, so as you can see, here's what it looks like. Front and back is gorgeous, y'all. The even the pack inside the packaging don't do this pen case no good. This pen case is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The um, just gorgeous. So that's what it looks looks like. And as you can see, it has quotes. You oh my god, you're so pretty. Treat yourself. You are worth the best. Just different quotes. And here's my um, Create 365. And as you can see, it's smaller, which is great for me because this takes up a lot of space. It takes up absolutely so much space that I've actually stopped taking my, this with me. I don't actually take a pen case when I go. I just actually... um put my pens in my little planner. I'm going to show y'all what I put my pens in. Hold on Yo, one second. When I'm getting ready to go somewhere and I want to take some pens with me, I actually use this little Recollection brand um, pen pouch and I just put a couple of pens in there and take them with me. Because this is so big. So I just actually leave this on my desk. Or either on my planner cart. So, but it's not a box. This um is an excellent pen case. But I'm just saying, it's awesome to have one that's actually smaller, as you can see with my hand being on it, the size. So let's just unzip the first zipper. And as you can see, it zips like a dream. You know how hard it is to unzip with one hand while recording with the other? Then you know that this unzips like a dream because it's steady unzipping. And here is the gorgeous bubblegum pink inside. Y'all, that is just gorgeous. Who made this thing? Who made this? This is gorgeous. So let's go in the middle. Well, let's go on the other side. It's not the zipper, y'all. It's actually how I'm holding my hand. Because I need a way to pull the zipper to get it to open. And the way I was holding my hand, I couldn't pull. So, yeah. There is the second side. And in the middle, as you can see, as it said, it came with 20 pins. And in the middle is where the 20 pins are. So this is a 60 pin pin case. And what I'm actually going to do is show you, either show them for being holding 60 pins or proving that that is a lie, it does not hold 60 pins. That is the purpose of this video, just to get a inside look. So here is the 20 pins that it come with. Um, just to speak on myself and my preference, I'm a 0 0.5 pen writer. That's my pen. I only like fine point pens. I don't like to write in medium point pens. Medium point pens are ugly to me. So these pins right here are ugly to me. I don't like these pins. They're too wide for my liking. So yeah, I don't like them at all. But that's not the point. The point is, let's just see. I may just sell these pins or I don't know, give them away to somebody who wants them or like them. I don't know. I'll decide what to do with the pins. But we're about to fill this bad baby up with the pins of my choice. 
And if you was wondering what are the pairs of my choice, it is these. Okay. Love this pen. This is the Paper Make Ink Joy. Like I said, I don't like medium point pens. So if the Ink Joy is a 0 0.7, I hate it. You see how I tell you the point 0 0.5? If that would have said 0 0.7, I would I don't like 0 0.7. There we go. So yeah, this is 0 0.5. Absolutely love this pen. And I only that only came in a two pack. So I only have two of those because I wanted to try out the 0 0.5 to see if I like how this pen write. And this pen is bay. I can't wait to find a big colorful pack um, in that um, point. And this is the pen I've been writing with since I've graduated high school. When I first graduated high school, I bought a set of these pens. And these are the pens I've been writing with for years. The Precise V5 Extra Fine Point Pen. And these are... 0.5 so love those pins these pins are so very random i don't even know where i bought these pins from actually yes i do they was on clearance at target one day like it was so random like i've never seen these pins and they was just in a pack that one of the pins was missing out of the pack and I haven't been able to find them at Target anymore. And as you can see, it is a 0 0.5. And it's right dudes. Like, I don't know. You see that little emblem on the bottom? I don't know who make these pins. I have Googled them. But I haven't really found this one exact for sale. So, yeah. These are actually all the pens that I write in. <sighs> now, I have invested. I went into the hype of the Sadler pen. I, I don't like it. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know why Sadler is supposed to be the best. But this is like writing with a marker for me. And I don't like writing with mark. I mean... I don't mind writing with marker when I want to write with marker, but I don't write in marker every day. I like a pen. So that's just my preference. So whatever this is, I don't like. And let me tell you what else is that way that I don't. Okay, let me say. Okay, I don't like these. Um, These Stadlers, I, I, I like them. They're just not my favorite. So how about that? Like, I won't say I don't like them because I do like them. They're just not my favorite. I don't prefer. They're not in my tops. But I, you know, I'll write with them. And then the Happy Planner pins. The Happy Planner pins are exactly like the Statler pins. No different. Just, they the same exact pen. Just a way better price than the Statler pins. So... Let's fill this bad baby up with pins and let's see how it works out. Okay, y'all. So we got the plant the pin box all packed and ready. Are y'all ready to see what it looks like? Okay. Let's open the first zip. I'll be having to get it at an angle I can pull it. First one open and let's see. All the pins are in the pin loop with no problem. Y'all, this is the first time that I've put pins in the pin case. No matter what pin case, you was never able to get both. Like, you see how I got these? 
next to each other. Usually you gotta put a pin, skip a loop, put a pin, skip a loop. And those in place like the Kipling case, you would have to do that. In this recollection brand, you can put a pin in every loop and still zip it closed. As you can see, it zip closed with no problem. Let's open the second. You see how smooth that just unzipped? Here's the second one, full of pins, pins in every loop. As I told y'all, I don't like these pins, but that's no, neither here nor there because it's pins in every loop and it zips up. And let's look in the last, in the last zip. And these slid in extra these slid in extra easy because they're a, they were small like these like these they you didn't even have to pull this up you just slid them in bop 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 but with the ones that's like this and these you would have to pull once you got it like in the last not this one, but the one that was like right here and right here. You would have to open this up, put your finger in there, and then stick the pin in there. Y'all, this pin case is perfect. It works perfectly. No problems at all. And as you can see, all three slides zips up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to zip this back up with one hand. But this thing, it when I tell you everything works smooth on it, and it does what it says it does. It holds 60 pins, no problem. The quality of the zipper is amazing. And the quality of, it's just great. And if this is anything of how that um tote gonna be when it comes out, oh my goodness. Like in any intuition of how that, um, you know they have what else they got coming out they have the tote bags coming out and then they have some more uh, all the zipper planners oh my god they're gonna be great y'all see how I zipped all three of those using one hand and no problem is this worth the money hell yes go out there and get you a nice, good, I'm talking about good pen case. And it's just awesome. So I love it. And as I told you, it is 60. Did I say 60? It holds 60 pins. I think so. Because. I don't know what I did with the little thingy, but let's just now we're gonna unzip and see how many because I hate not knowing. Fog is here to not know. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, twenty. Yeah. 20, 40, 60. So it holds 60 pins. You know you have 60 pins with you. And that is perfect for like going on a little trip or whatever you need to pack up your pins for. Going over a planner buddy house. So yeah, y'all. That is my review on the new Recollection brand pin case. I hope you guys go out and get you one if you're a very busy girl like myself. And you want to keep up with your pins, be sure and get you one of these. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. And now I think I'm going to use this and just put some of my on-the-go planner on um, my books, my sticker books. I'll throw them in here and take them with me on the go to Dressing about a good 
day. See y'all later.